Today we are learning about mixtures and solutions. Now a mixture is anything made by combining two or more different substances. For example, if you've ever eaten a fruit salad, you've seen a mixture. You make a fruit salad by mixing together blueberries, raspberries, kiwis, grapes, and any other fruits you'd like. Now a key feature of a mixture is that the substances do not react with each other. For example, in your fruit salad, nothing has changed about the fruit just because you've mixed it together. If you wanted to, you could separate out each individual fruit and see that nothing about it has changed. Now there's one more type of mixture. It's called a solution. A solution is a mixture where substances are spread out evenly. The best example of this is to think about putting a spoonful of salt into water. If you put the salt into the water and stir, the salt dissolves making it look like it isn't there anymore. But what's actually happening when you dissolve salted water is that the particles of salt are spreading out evenly among the water. You just can't see them anymore. In solutions, the substance that's dissolving, which here was the salt, is called the solute. And the substance that things are dissolving in, which in our example was the water, is called the solvent. An easy way to compare mixtures and solutions is to think about taking a spoonful of each. If you were to take a spoonful of fruit salad, one time you might get a spoonful of blueberries, and the next time you might get a spoonful of raspberries. Each time you take a spoonful, it would be a little bit different. But in a solution like salt water, every spoonful you would take would be just as salty. There will be no extra salty spoonfuls because it's all mixed evenly together. Now let's practice identifying mixtures and solutions together. Let's start by deciding if this bowl of Cheerios represents a mixture, solution, or neither. Well, what is the definition of a mixture? Remember that a mixture is anything made by combining two or more different substances. And in our bowl of Cheerios, assuming there is no milk, do we have two different substances? No, all that's in this bowl are Cheerios, so this is neither a mixture nor a solution. Now let's look at another bowl of cereal. Imagine pouring yourself a bowl of Raisin Bran. Well, what is being mixed together in a bowl of Raisin Bran? Well, Raisin Bran is made by mixing together both raisins and cereal. So what is Raisin Bran? Raisin Bran is a mixture, but not a solution. It's a mixture because it's made of two different substances, but it's not a solution because it's not evenly mixed together. If you were to eat a spoonful of Raisin Bran, sometimes you get more raisins, while sometimes you get more cereal. Because it's not evenly mixed, we cannot call it a solution. On the other hand, this is an example of a solution. When I take this flavor and I squirt it into a cup of water, it makes a solution. Why is this called a solution? This is called a solution because the water and the flavoring are evenly mixed together. Every sip you would take from this cup would taste exactly the same, because the flavor and the water have spread out evenly. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. Here is a bowl of trail mix. What does this represent? This bowl represents a mixture. Two or more things are being mixed together, but they are not evenly mixed. If you were to grab a handful, sometimes you'd end up with a bunch of M&Ms, while other time you might end up with a bunch of nuts or raisins. So this is a mixture, but not a solution. Next, here is a spoonful of sugar being added to a cup of tea. What does this represent? Well, this would represent a solution, because the sugar and tea will become evenly mixed together. Every sip will be just as sweet as any other sip. Now, in this solution, what is the solute and what is the solvent? Well, remember that the solute is the substance that's dissolving. What was dissolving in the tea was the sugar. And the solvent is the substance that things dissolve in. Here, the sugar was dissolving in the tea. So from today, remember. A mixture is made by combining two or more different substances. And solutions are a special type of mixture, where the substances are spread out evenly.